today we are going to continue with uh, study section two and in this study session two we are going to be looking at creativity and innovation first we are going to start with knowing what creativity is we we'll deal with the aspect of creativity fully and then we we'll now look at what innovation is and what the 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 the, the component of innovation Creativity is an art, idea, or product that changes an existing domain or that transforms an existing domain into a new one. What counts is whether the novelty he or she produces is acceptable for inclusion in the domain. In order to be creative, you need to be able to view things in new ways or from a different perspective. Now, let me just explain a little. What we are saying here that about creativity, creativity has to develop, come up with an idea that is different from somebody else. It could be something existing, but you come up with a, a different perspective of such item that is existing. And in, in doing so, you come up with a unique, a unique product that is different from what is existing. Now, having said that, we look at what the creative process is. According to Hort, in 1992, the creative process comprises the following five stages. First, idea germination. Idea germination has to do with your coming up with a fresh idea of what to be done. In a specific term, exactly how an idea is germinated is a mystery. It is not something that can be examined under the microscope. For most entrepreneurs, ideas begin with interest in subject or curiosity about finding a solution to a particular problem. You can even be on your bed or in the comfort of your room and an idea will come to your mind that you should venture into doing a thing. And once that idea interests you, you will go and do more on it. Make further inquiry and see how you can go about idea. Most entrepreneurs that we are seeing today, they develop an idea. And then after germinating this idea, they pursue it vigorously and it manifests into what it is today. Having germinated an idea, you go into preparation. That is the second stage. Also search for answers. At this stage, you now begin to prepare. How are you going to go about this? How do you come to realize this idea? For instance, Inventors will set up laboratory experiments. You know, designers will begin engineering new product ideas. A marketer will study customer buying behavior. Like in most, uh, like the, there was an idea that somebody was sharing with me that they came up with a product. And, you know, as they go out to advertise and sell the product, they were getting response from the, their, their customers. And the responses they were getting were supposed to transform that business. But more, the problem they had was that when they shared the idea or the responses from the customer to their, their manager, the manager did not welcome so, that idea. And in, that, in, in, in so doing, that business did not thrive the way it should grow. You know, most often when you interact with the buyer, you interact with the, the consumer outside, it is what they say that can improve your product. But when you get responses from a, a customers and you do not actualize it or practicalize the idea you get from them, it may not, your business may not thrive or grow. It is good that when you introduce a product and you, you see the response, you get responses from people, you incorporate such um, responses and it will enhance the growth of your business. Now, having prepared and make interaction, the next stage is incubation. 
Incubation is a stage of mulling it over. When an, an individual has consciously worked or resolved a problem without success, allowing it to incubate in the subconscious will often lead to the resolution. At this stage of um, incubation, you will equally interact. And as you are nurturing this idea and is, as it also incubates, it will lead to something tangible at the end of the day. After incubation stage, we move to illumination stage. Illumination occurs when the idea surfaces as a realistic creation. This stage is critical for entrepreneur because ideas by themselves have little meaning. Reaching the illumination stage separates daydreamers and thinkers from creative people who find a way of uh, transforming their values. So at this stage, it's, you, you, if you come up with idea, it is a good thing, but it is just a mere dreaming. It is when you have gotten to this stage that you know you are moving on and then they are moving towards achieving what you dream about. Now, having reached this stage, you look at, we go to the next stage, which is verification stage. An idea once illuminated in the mind of an individual, see has little meaning until verify as realistic and useful. Thus, verification is the development stage or refining knowledge into application. This is the full stage, a stage where your idea is realized. You know, everything has process, and the process is what we have um, enlisted. And at this stage of verification, at this time, you would have interacted with people, you would have uh, make comparison, and then what you, you want to do has been fully examined and accepted. And then you can now move, move on with uh, going into that, um, uh, actualizing the business idea. Now, having looked at the stages involved, we look at basic requirements for creativity. There are some certain uh, requirements for creativity to be fully attained. Now, according to Adams, in 2005, the following are critical to individual creativity. First, knowledge. The T-shaped mind with a breadth of understanding across multiple disciplines and one or two areas in depth, um, in depth um, expertise. At this stage, whatever you want to do, it is good you have a full knowledge of it. And when you have a full knowledge of it, it will also help you to know how to go about actualizing that knowledge. When you don't have a full knowledge of what you want to do, it will not really um, manifest fully and realize your idea. The next, thing, uh, the next uh, requirement here is thinking. A strong ability to generate novel ideas by combining previously desperate elements. This, uh, Synthesis thinking must be combined with analytical and practical thinking. Thinking at this, at, the, at this place is very critical because when you don't have a very wide mind of thinking, you know, having a great mind of thinking, you will not be able to um, actualize what you actually want to attain. Personal motivation. The appropriate level of intrusive motivation and passion for one's work combined with appropriate synthetic motivator and self-confidence. At this stage, you have to motivate yourself and tell yourself, encourage yourself that yes, this idea is realizable, is attainable, it is achievable. You have to encourage yourself. You have to talk to yourself that yes, this thing, it is something that you can attain. There is a saying that anything that is, is um, conceivable, if it is believable, it is achievable. Then you have to think deep and then tell yourself that this idea that you have come up with, you can attain it. Encourage yourself. And by so doing, you see yourself actualizing your dream. The next um, basic requirement here is environment. A non-threatening, non-controlling climate condition to idea combination and recombination such as interaction is, is essential 
you know, when there is a conducive business environment, it will equally allow you to be able to attain what you have set out to attain. So, but a non-conducive environment will not enable you to achieve your dream. If you have set up to, to achieve a thing and then set up the business and before you know there is a riot or crisis somewhere that blow up the business, your idea may die immediately if you are not a very strong and courageous person. Then another one is an explicit decision to be creative along with a mental cognitive awareness of the creative process can go a long way in enhancing a long-term creative result. What we are saying here that what you, you are th thinking of doing must be explicit. Explicit in the sense that it has to be very clear and obvious. And by so doing, you are on your way to success. Now, having seen, this is all we have to know now about creativity and what you need to know about creativity. Having seen that, we quickly go into innovation. Mind you that we say we are going to be looking at creativity and innovation. And in creativity, we have seen what creativity is, and we can equally look at the stages of creativity, and we have seen the basic requirement of creativity. Having seen all this, we now quickly go into innovation. Innovation is generally understood as the introduction of a new or a new idea or method. It is the embodiment and combi combination or synthesis of knowledge in original relevant value, new product processes or services. Innovation, as we just said now, it is a process of coming up with a new idea. A new idea. Now, take for instance, a product may be existing. Uh, let's use uh, Indomie for example. You know, when Indomie came on board, that is existing. Other products that are Indomie related are also coming up. It is not that it is quite different from Indomie, but what they do is to bring up something that maybe will make their own product unique and different but it will give you the same result. There may be, if for you to develop a good business idea, you, or, and if you don't even have an idea at all, you can look at what is existing. When you look at what is existing, you can, from what is existing, come up with idea. And it will, by putting in other new idea into it, it will sell. And it, is, it will also give you the satisfaction that you drive in your heart. Now, Zmira, Scarborough, and uh, Walsey in 2008 define innovation as a specific instrument of entrepreneur, the means by which they exploit change as opportunity for a different business or different services. So from their own idea, they, they see innovation as coming off with something different. You know, a product may be existing, but you can add up another idea to that product to make your own unique and different from that existing product. Forms of innovation. According to Hamel in 1997, innovation comes in different forms. Technological innovativeness primarily comprise research and engineering effort aimed at developing new product and process. This, are, this is one of the forms of, a, of a innovation. Another one is product market innovativeness. And this consists of market research, product design, and innovation in advertising and promotion. You know, there are different ways of marketing your business. It is not enough for one to have a business, but your ability to, to advertise and let people know about your product is very essential. 
if you have a product and you cannot market it or let people know about it, that product will not go a long way and it will not have a wide coverage. But when you develop your advertising method, it will also sell your product and you, there will be much demand of such product. Administrative innovativeness. This is consigned with novelty in management systems, uh, control technology, and organizational structure. This is also very core and important. Uh, as a business, uh, as an entrepreneur, when you are not too skilled in management, it is advisable for you to uh, collaborate or consult with people who are uh, who are experts in this area. And when you, you, you get experts in this area, they will also help you to manage your business, your product, such that you will be able to have a very good standard and that will differentiate or distinguish you from others. Edson and Clark in 1990 classifies in terms of what it is incremental, modular, architectural, or radical. This is another uh, method that has been uh, coined by Edson and Clark. He looks at, look at the aspect of incremental innovation, modular in innovation, uh, architectural, and radical innovation. And we are going to look at each of these stages as propounded by uh, Clark and, and Hetzing in 1990. Incremental innovation. This comprises relatively small modification to pre-existing solutions. Tabla in 2007 is an example. He said an example is faster spiny hard drives. You know, this has to do with information technology. Modular innovation. This kind of innovation changes the core design of one or more component, but does not change the entire product. It does not change the entire, entire product architecture. A good example is the digital phone, which replaced the analog phone without changing the phone itself. You know, this also has to do with uh, information technology. You know, you can see this example from the area of phones. You know, for instance, uh, Techno, um, Techno may come up with a uh, Techno Spark 2, and before you know, they have come up with another Techno Spark 3. Before you know, it's, they are not changing the phone, but they are just adding maybe one or few things. The phone remains what it is but new other ideas have been added maybe to the existing that is what this modular innovation is talking about architectural innovation the essence of this type of innovation is the configuration of an existing system to link together component and part in a new way an example is the technologies where architectural innovation reduce the size of the hard drive from 14 inches dimension disks to di diameter of 3.5 inches and from 2.5 inches to 1.8 inches. All of this we ca can be evident in, in most of this technology we make use of. Even here, a lot of changes are coming up every day in the area of information and technology. Radical innovation. This type of innovation brings about a new dominant design and consequently a new set of core design concepts embodied in components that are linked together in a new architecture. Radical innovation leads to new solutions that, that address customer's need. So this also brings about a new change and the new change is uh, it's as a result of customers uh, demands and quests for new product. More in 2004 also gives the following 
does not mean of uh, innovation. Disruptive in innovation. This gets a great deal of attention, particularly in the press, because markets appear as if from nowhere, creating massive new source of wealth. It tends to have its roots in technological discontinuities, such as the one that enabled Motorola rise to prominence with the first generation of cell phones. Application innovation takes existing technology into new market to serve new purposes. All of this also ha happening in the information technology sector. We also look at product innovation. This takes established offers in established market to the next level. As when Intel releases a new processor or Toyota a new car, the focus can be on performance increase, cost reduction, usability improvement, or any other product enhancement. There may be a product in, 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 in existence, but in, uh, it, that, that product can be transformed into a new one, then by including other new idea into it and making it a better product. Process innovation. This makes processes for established offers in established market more effective or efficient. Examples include the streamlining of its PC supply chain and other fulfillment systems. As parameter innovation, this makes surface modification that improve customer's experience of established product or process. This can take the form of the lighters. You've got a mail, satisfier, superior line management at uh, Destiny Land, or reassures package tracking from FedEx. Marketing innovation. This improves customer's touching process be that marketing communications or consumer a transaction. Another one is business model innovation. This reframes an established value proposition to the customer or a company. Established role in the value chain or both. Examples include IBM shift to on-demand computing and apply expansion into consumer retailing. Structural innovation. This capitalizes on disruption to restructure industry relationship. Innovators like banks, for example, that have used the deregulation of financial services to consumer under one umbrella. This has to do with restructuring. Now, having said that, we look at the innovation cycle phases of successful innovation. First, we have the stage description, then we have typical activities. The first one, we have ideas. The first thing is to do here is to identify a market opportunity. When you identify a market opportunity, then you'll be able to delve into such product. The second one is resources. resources. Here, you have to organize people, finance, and facility to match the goals of the organization. Now, when you have identified an idea, you have the idea, then you equally have to mobilize resources. And mobilizing resources include uh, organizing people, organizing finances, facility to match the goals of the organization. The next one is investigation. You have to, this has to do with Research the possibilities. You know, when you investigate, you will see, is it this idea, is it possible? Is, is, it, is it not possible? What should be done? The investigation will be able to review the next thing you will do. Then here, pattern. This has to do is to protect the intellectual pro, uh, property. You have to uh, go, uh, um, go about uh, protecting it by securing license and the rest of it so that, that that name will be permanently yours. 
here and then the next one is to design here you model and test it for users then develop develop has to do with improve the technology and then make to start production after you have complete all the processes the cycles as as as, as, as stated you have to go into production then sell when you have produced the next thing to do is to advertise and inform people about your product and then the next thing is service communicate with the customers when you have start selling um, your product then you communicate with the customer get their view do they like it is there anything they need you to do differently from what you are doing the views of the customers will, will improve your product because by the time you start selling they will you get complaints you get appreciation and the rest of it all that you are going to get from the customers will equally help you to improve on your product or your services thank you <music>